We are privileged to have our coach, uh, best coach and with us. Coach, congratulations and welcome to the press conference. Thank you, thank you, Sidney. Uh, fashion, congratulations for the game and obviously the goals. Welcome to this press conference. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, coach, uh, for new win today before home fans, uh, what was the secret to, the, to today's result? Yeah, we needed this game. It was an important game for us. And, uh, you know, when we played against the Mauritania in their home town, it was a Chinese game and we, expect, we expected a tough game. And for sure they played very well. So that uh, the boys today, they have shown that character, yes. We are a team and uh, good result starting from the goalkeeper, defence. You know, it's uh, not easy you come out with a clean sheet. But yeah, I'm happy with the, the way the whole team was played today. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Fashion, uh, what was the CP to today's result and uh, obviously your contribution with uh, those goals? Uh, how do you feel after today's result and what's the goal for you? Yeah, thank you. Is it working? Okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, first I would like to give thanks to God. I think uh, it's very important for me to thank him for what he has done for me today and the whole uh, country. Uh, for me, I think uh, I'm very proud with the victory than the hat trick itself. I'm very proud with uh, the results. I was not looking for a hat trick, I was looking for the results to make the people happy in Zambia. I think uh, this is the reason why I came. Uh, as I promised when I came, that the only thing is uh, to make sure that uh, people are happy in the country. I think uh, sport is one of the things that can unite us. So I'm very happy and very proud to represent the country. Thank you very much. Uh, one question is the person and we will be brief. Yes. Thank you so much. Well, of course, mine goes to Fashion. Uh, of course, uh, congrats for graduating. Thank you so much. Uh, but of course, how painful is it to you uh, as a team? Uh, considering the fact that you have failed to qualify for the number one in the world for the World Cup, uh, yet you you beat a, a team that has qualified for the Africa. Yeah, exactly. Thanks. Uh, I, I think, to be honest, we are all disappointed. All the players were disappointed. Not only me. I think uh, the whole squad is disappointed. The whole country is disappointed. I think it could have been better if uh, we qualified to the World Cup or to the next stage. Uh, it's sad, but I think, uh, like I said when I came, that we have to remove the weight building the team. So I think the team that we have is really looking good. So we have missed this uh, World Cup qualifiers. I think we have to prepare for the next competition, and uh, the team looks really good. So uh, I can't really promise, but I think. Uh, we might qualify in the next competition. Thank you. Uh, my, my question goes to the coach. Uh, coach, when you look at, uh, at when you look back after this result, how uh, do you regret uh, some of the decisions made, you made, uh, especially the game, home game against Tunisia, and how much do you regret having won, failure to, to win against the Yeah, that's a good question. Okay, someone, someone, COVID played a lot. You know, we had to miss a lot of players because of injuries and the, this COVID thing. But uh, yes, we are up now. At least the whole team is intact. The operators they are in, and uh, there is no excuse. But what we need just now to make sure we put everything in place. And uh, as I said earlier, there is no need of building now. This time is connecting, you know, we have players who are playing well away from home, so what you need is just to connect and the, the team will be there. Yes, yes Calvin is my next question. Yeah, my question goes to the coach. Uh, you were appointed on a interim basis. Are you looking forward to be given a permanent contract? What is your plan going forward as far as uh, bringing more players to the national team is concerned? No. Suppose you are maintained as the head coach for the national team. Yeah, that's no, our job is about the results. So, all time, I'll try my role best with my technical staff so that we push and maybe we keep our jobs. Yes. Coach, congratulations, Joseph Kama from ZTV. Going forward into the Tunisia game, uh, what is your game plan with this result? Yeah, we have an important game again against Tunisia. We take we will take that game with that serious approach, and I think the boys now they have come up and 
now understand uh, each other very well, which is good for the team. I think uh, it will be a good game with Tunisia. Coach, congratulations for the Thank you, Chief. Uh, Coach, what is your message of hope to the fans, especially after this win going forward? They've been fantastic. I, I think even uh, the last game we played here uh, against the Cotero game, we could see the supporters. That's what we need. That's what we have been crying for as a team. We need a, a tough prayer. Mm, like today, we see it's so that we cannot dance on the pitch. The boys cannot dance on the pitch, but through the support we received today, it was uh, something else. I think we, we need the supporters to be behind us. This is the national team, it's under at stake. Take the last question. Coach, are you appointed to uh, stop the World Cup qualifier? Do you, in any way, feel uh, you've let down the appointing authority by not doing what the appointment is? Entry. 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 Coach. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not disappointed. I'm not disappointed because, as I said earlier, uh, I'm here to, to do the job, but yes, when we are aiming high and to achieve something, then we fail to do it. That this is always a disappointment, but with, with my team and whatever, whoever was in the take on supper this we our eyes are up, although we didn't manage to achieve what, what we are plotting, but we are looking forward to the things we are looking forward to, to something good for the team. Coach, um, how do you assess the performance of the players? Yes, at TC, we're happy. As the second staff, we're happy with the way the boys have put up, especially we could see the young man prosper. He's a boy who can uh, do something for the team. But uh, uh, Dominic is a chanda from Kaboria, <coughs> very uh, committed player. And that partnership with the Tanya team is it's working, it's working. And uh, even uh, the young man, uh, Surimba. Mm. I think all these things are coming from these guys from outside. Mm. The way they are doing something else there, it's bringing more, uh, Malawi in the team and for the other boys, and it is, uh, it is always a motivating thing also to the locals. I think we are happy with the way they are. Putting in, and there's a lot of competition. That is the main thing. On that note, we've come to the end of our post match press conference. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Coach and uh, Fashion. We wish you all the best uh, in the next game against Tunisia Tuesday, Tuesday and a safe flight to Tunisia. Thank you so much, Tunisia. <laughs> <laughs>